What's up guys? Today we're talking about curved spines in chiropractic. Stay tuned. How can I help you today? All right guys, so one major complaint, one major thing that we often see people ask me about is a term called scoliosis. And what scoliosis basically means is that there's a curvature in the spine. Now, this is a major curvature in the spine. Most of the times when somebody comes into my office with curvature, it's a lot less than this. But here's what you need to know about it. Scoliosis is typically seen in females, and we typically see scoliosis starting at about the time of puberty. Matter of fact, at most schools, in most junior highs, the, the nurses will do what they call a scoliosis check. How they simply do this is have the person standing away from them, they take their fingers, and as the person bends forward, they take their hands and run their fingers along the spine. If they start to note any deviation in the spine, then they are kind of marked as a potential for scoliosis. Scoliosis is only diagnosed with an x-ray. Now, there are two different types of scoliosis. The first type is what they call a structural scoliosis, and the second type is what they call a functional scoliosis. A structural scoliosis occurs when the body naturally causes curvature to happen in the spine. Like I said, this is typically seen in females, and the reason is, is because this is an estrogen-driven disease. Now, the other side of that is what they call a functional scoliosis. And what a functional scoliosis is, it's actually a person that has no curvature, but due to injury or overuse on one side of the body, we start to see the muscles tighten down and the bones start to rotate out of their normal position. And then lastly, guys, there's actually a third type or a hidden scoliosis, and that is when you have a little bit of structural and a little bit of functional scoliosis. Now, the question is, what do you do about it and why? Now, if you have a structural scoliosis, what is very typical for a chiropractor and a pediatrician to do is take a set of full spine x-rays to measure the curvature that is in the spine. And then over the course of three months, six months, and a year, they take uh, follow-up x-ray films to compare and see if there's any changes happening in the curvature over time. What we want to see is what it becomes a stable scoliosis, which means it doesn't cause the curve to worsen. If it continues to worsen, then we have to look at doing much more intervention, like wearing a brace throughout the day or ultimately having to have some sort of structural surgery. Now, as far as a chiropractor, we come into play because not only can we help get the body moving in the right direction, we can actually cause more motion and mobility in the actual joints. Now, can we reverse scoliosis? The answer may be yes, and it may be no. There's, the science and the data is still out on that aspect, but we do know this. With our structural scoliosis only patients, they often report less pain, better function, and being able to move more freely. Now, on the other side, when we're talking about a functional scoliosis, that is absolutely a chiropractic thing. Matter of fact, the more that we can work with that patient and get them into proper alignment, work with the muscles to get the muscles to move appropriately, the less pain they're gonna have, the less scoliosis they're gonna have, and the better athlete and the better life function that they're going to have and experience from there. So basically, guys, what am I telling you? If you have scoliosis, if your child should have scoliosis, I believe they should be checked by a doctor of chiropractic, and then you should sit down with them and discuss and see what is going on. Is it structural, is it functional, or is it a combination of the two? All right, guys, if you have any questions about scoliosis, please ask below in the video. As always, I jump into the comments and ask the one. All right, have a great day. Talk to you.